Hey guys, so welcome to another YouTube video. My name is Joe. And in this video, we're going to be making this shirt right here. It's something I've been testing for a while and I think I've been able to nail the look. So I'm just going to share the basic process with you guys, just trying to figure it out. So this is the look right here. It's um something, it's like a cinematography of Blade Runner 2049. I've hired some some reference already piled up here this is the direction i'm going to go with just based on camera angle and build the information and this is from max hayes youtube video i watch a lot of his videos just to um be able to make this trail so first thing i'm going to i'm going to go to the camera and set up 1080 by 1350 is going to be okay i'm just going to use power cubes to set up the basic formation of the buildings right so i have one here and with this i will just jz and then shift the on the y axis and just create some more buildings vary the height a bit i can do randomized transform and transform on the z location so we have something going on right now and this is going to be our buildings on one side what we can do is shift shift d and copy on the x axis also so we have that kind of straight highway kind of look and then since we have that set up i'm just going to vary this a bit more I'll bring in my randomized transform again and just maybe do it on the other way around, right? So I'm going to go to the camera and then set up a very, very low angle for this camera. And make sure that I change the focal length from 50 mm to 24 mm. So we have a very, very, very wide angle shot. So I think we are good on the camera angle, except I think I want to see these buildings a bit more. What I'm going to do, I'm going to click on the camera and just RR on this place and then bring that down a bit. Okay, so we have those and what we're going to do next, we're going to just start up by setting up the sky texture first and then we set up the volumetrics after that. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go to our world menu and then click new, create in Blender. So I'm going to go to the te sky texture. And from here, I'm going to go to wall. So I'm going to just change this to our rendered view. And this is what we have. I, I want to raise this camera up a bit more. I'm not seeing so much of that ground and I don't like it. Okay, this is this is cool for now. So let's just go into this. I'm going to set my sun date, let's say 44, because I want it to be a huge sun. As you can see, you can see the formation of the sun already appearing on this side. I'm going to bring down that intensity to, let's say, Point three sun and division is good, altitude is good, but what brings that reddish and yellow gradient to the scene is this air. So I'm going to turn up the air, and you see that we're already a step close to what our aim is. So what I'm going to do next, I think I want to elevate the sun so that the sun will feel like it's coming from the top, like the scene is top lit. So I'm going to raise the elevation of the sun, and you see our sun going up. It's no longer occupying this place, it's now up here. Right? So what I'm going to do next, I'm just going to bring down the strength of the scene on this side. Right here, you see it's, it's set to 1, but I'll bring it down to 0.3. So we have a little bit of dark scene going on. And if you notice, some of our reddish tones are gone here. So in order to revive that back, we're going to bring this uh, temperature um, down to, say, 2.5. And then we begin to see a lot of the reds in the scene. We're going to add the volume cue right scale that let's scale it on the z-axis also and then we're going to just change this to bounce so we have this change to bounce now we're just going to go to object menu add in a new texture we'll clear out the principal and add in the volume principal volume so what we're going to do to this is just connect it to the volume and now we have volume going on in the scene right what we're going to do next we're just going to raise up the initial p we can bring down our density to say let's do point two for the density as you can see our scene is looking a little bit too dense so what we're going to do we're going to control it with um, a color ram node and then bring in a noise node also so we can see some of this back building way behind because the, the scene looks too dense so what i'm going to do now is to connect this to the density and we have this going on right now so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to take on the white part and just bring it down so we are now seeing the ending of the scene, but then still preserving some of the volume. So what I'm going to do, in order to crank up the volume a bit more, I'm going to add a matte node and change this to multiply. So I can just increase the overall volume. So what I'm going to do, I'm quickly going to go to my asset browser 
and get my building um building asset i just created recently if you have not gotten this asset pack they are all completely free, free on gum road and you can just get them and follow along with this tutorial so i already have this building here what i'm going to do i'm going to do shift x and bring cursor to this building i'm just going to drag our first building into the scene you would notice that the empty is far from where the building is i don't know why that happens what i'm going to do i'm going to right click and set origin to geometry shift s and the selection of the building i'm going to bring it to this position here i don't know why that happens but we we had we have time to figure that out right now so i'm going to rotate this building to face this queue properly right so we have this building here so what we can do now since we have already have we have a building in that position we can clear out this um our um, placeholder and then raise the cube from the ground a bit now we have the building away from the ground now i have that building there i'm just going to drag in another building i think we can use this one so i'm going to scale that down but before i move i'm going to shift s and bring cursor to this building this is going to be i think i'm going to fast forward this part so that it doesn't um the tutorial doesn't take so long Alright, so we're cool on that. Something I think I want to do again is to duplicate this on the z-axis and S shift Z using Z. Okay, I think we're good on that. I, I don't know if I like this empty space here, but let's just let's just keep it pushing. Let's go to the next building. Um, what I want to do next now is to create the water. So I'm just going to go to the shader menu, shader, create a new texture. Um, we're going to bring down roughness. Um, we're also going to extrude on the z-axis and then we're going to increase transmission. So I'm going to add in a noise texture. We're going to add in a pump node. We're going to connect and connect the bump to normal. So we are already seeing some activity going on right here in the water. We're just going to move close so that we'll make sure that we get that, this water really well. What I want to do is increase the scale, right, first, and then uh, let me bring down the detail. Okay, what we can do is just bring down the strength so we can see these light streaks a bit well. As you can see, these lights on these shots are also having that little bit of streaks. So that is what I'm actually looking for. Um, I want to bring down the distance on this, maybe 2.3, and it looks good. I think this line I've created here looks a bit too small. So I'm going to go to that Y axis, select all the building on this side, and maybe GX, bring it out a bit, just out a bit. So we have the water here. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go to the solid view, we're going to add an array system. I'm going to copy the value of the X, place in the Y, copy the one of the Z and place in the X. So we have the water, we're just going to, you know, duplicate it till the end of the same, right? So since we have the water now, we're just going to GZ and then we can shift D on the Z axis. This is going to be an entirely different material. So I'm just going to scale on the Z axis and scale on the X axis also is going to be the separation that we're going to need between the water and the residential building because if there's no this separation the water is just going to be entering the building it doesn't just make sense to retain it wise so i'm just going to gz and what i'm going to do next i'm just going to add loops to this and we're going to create a little bit of a jetty just something like this that's what i'm trying to create so i have that i'm just going to control b 
so we have those and we're just going to e on the z-axis so what we're going to do to just make this a bit more interesting is to add an edge loop let's add an edge layer extrude out like this i want to create a reading for this so i can just select till the end here shift d and gz and just separate that as its own separate mesh so now that we have that you can just e and extrude on the z axis and then maybe we can just add an edge loop here so to this separate one what we can do we can add a wireframe modifier so we have the railing set already you can just uh oh, no i'm not increasing the count of that we want to increase the width of this railing so we have that set up what we're going to get we're going to quickly get a concrete texture um we're just going to go to unsplash with water drip with water drip okay yeah okay let's just save this image and just use it i don't have time um okay so we can just go and just start setting up the texture um so we're dragging our texture here project from view you project from view okay so I think that's good. So we have this. What we're going to do next is maybe click on this side profile and kill UV project and just displace that somewhere else. GZ. I think this is good. Okay, so we have this fully textured now. Something we're going to do is just to use a curve node to make this a tad darker. Because I don't I don't want really bright tones in this scene. I need things that are really dark. Um, maybe I can also increase some of the whites. And for this reading, what I can just do, I can just use a normal diffuse node. Diffuse, connect that. Okay, so we are cool. And um, if you look at our reference, you see that there are some tires that are hung there. So I'm just going to go to my sketch fab add-on and bring in a tire. And then in the y-axis, I'm going to hold the x that and sx minus one. So we have this facing the other side. So we we'll just g x and bring it in and just make sure that it laps this building correctly. Okay. The intensity from the sun, I want to make that a bit more intense so that yeah, it's a clear, vibrant yellow. Right, so I want to bring that intensity to maybe 0.7. Okay, so you're now seeing the difference from the top. It's looking like it's really top lit right now. So what I want to do next, I want to bring in, um, let's bring in some birds. So I can do Shift A, image as plane. And then if I go to my download, I have a download that has some birds as PNG. You can download anyone from the internet. I can see the birds over here. If you look really closely, you will see the birds. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to bring in our vehicle. Our vehicle is just going to be our KK model that I've modeled in the channel, I think once. So the first thing I want to do to make sure that this model is ready is to try to remove unwanted things. As you can see, the scene is already getting too heavy and um, I'm not even halfway there yet. So I want to remove these objects. Another thing I want to do is to lay these flats and then maybe delete this and then which one we can duplicate for the other part so this uh, we can just select that part and it take us to the emission there and we can just take this up to 70 also so we have everything all parented to this empty right here so i'm just going to select all of my uh, meshes click one of the mesh and then what i'm going to do i'm going to control j right so all of it is now one mesh. I can control all of it with just this empty here. So I'm going to change this to solid view and then we have our render view back working. I'm just going to distribute this vehicle across the volume in just the way that it looks cool. It's um, nothing really like that.
Okay, so I think I'm good on the vehicles. I just want to run one test render and see what that looks like. Okay, so now we have our render back. What, um, what I'm going to be touching for the next iteration is... I think I want this to reflect a bit more, so I'm going to add the light to this. Um, it looks like the sun is looking too far from the scene, so I want to bring it to somewhere here. So I'm just going to reduce the sun elevation a bit more. And this pattern, this here, looks too fake, so I'm going to break up this pattern a bit more with maybe some scaffolding. So that's what I'm just going to be doing for the next few seconds. All right, so guys, I have a render now, and this is what it looks like. I, I see there's some noise going on here, despite raising the volume, and I feel this comes from the denoising, so I'm going to turn off the denoising when I'm rendering next time. And then this light that's supposed to illuminate under of the vehicle, you can see that it's showing, it's showing in the volume here, so I'm just going to correct that and um, run on another render again. Also, our ambers, I don't know why our ambers aren't showing, but I will try to fix that. If it doesn't work, I will just take it out. Alright, so we have our final render here in Photoshop and I'm just going to quickly go to the camera roll and start making changes to this image. So I'm just going to go to the light, leave the exposure the way it is, but I'm going to crank up the contrast a bit. Um, the exposure, I'm going to bring it down just a tad. I'm going to pump up the highlight so that the sun from here looks like it's, it's a little bit hotter and then I'm going to drop down the shadows. The white also would go up. I'm just going to move sliders and see what, what looks good. And then the blacks, I think I'm going to leave it where it is. But this temperature, I'm going to make it a tad hotter. And then the vibrance, I'm going to bring that up. But I'm going to pull the saturation back it just a tad, just a bit. Looking at this now, I think I want to bring back down the exposure a bit more. And then I want to maybe pump up the highlights just a tad. Then I'm going to go down to the effects and this is where the magic happens. I'm just going to pump up texture and pump up clarity and we begin to see details come through in our image a bit better, right? So what I want to do right now is to bring down the haze a bit, just so I can bring in a little bit more fog. And then I'm going to bring in some vignettes to the image, just a tad, right? So I'm going to leave that and go straight to let's do the curve so for the curve for this down part i'm going to bring it down just make a basic s curve to this and then the highlight i'm going to pump that up a tad so we have that and i'm going to go straight next for the detail i'm going to introduce some sharpening to the image and then next i'm going to go to the optics and bring in a little bit of distort so the distort that i couldn't bring in in blender i'm just going to do it in post and just try to see if i can get it to look organic so i'm just going to create a little bit of a bulge and see what that looks like. Right, I think we, we have that nailed already. And I'm just going to bring in some noise. Let me look for the noise. And I'm going to pump up some noise into the image. All right, so we, we have the final image here, right? I'm just going to see the before. And this is our after, right? Um, this is not the best image in the world. I'm sure there's a lot of improvement that can be done to make this look good. Um, but we can't do that for this video. So this is the final image. This again, this is the before and this is the after. So that's it guys. So long and until I see you in the next one. Peace.